when I decided to grow my hair, I didn't realize how much work it would be. Besides all the awkward hair stages and going through a hat phase, what kind of shampoo and conditioner I should use? I mean, can I just use one soap for like the whole body? But I'm realizing that things don't work that way and that I should really take better care of this. If you've seen my hair, then you know it's unagreeable. And I don't see the point of brushing it because it just gets tangled all over again. Someone really tell me in the comments why I should be brushing my hair like every time. I even want to wet it sometimes. So if any of you guys are like me, then you need to read this book, Princess No Knots. So this long haired girl, well her name is Princess No Knots. I'm sure I don't have to tell you why, right? And besides being a princess, she loves taking hot bubble baths. Yeah, ignore the shouting because Princess doesn't like getting her hair combed. And no matter how hard she tried, she just can't get over the fact that she doesn't like combing her hair when it's dry. Can't even really blame her because it hurts so much when I comb my hair. Guys, don't look now, but here comes the king. And according to the king, she can't be Princess No Knots if she has knots. King makes sense. And with a sad heart, the king has to take away her crown. She's not losing her crown that easily. Look at her go. And no matter how much she tried, she just couldn't get rid of the knots until this magical fairy appears that gave her a magical brush, which will get rid of all the tangles as long as she sits still. But there's only one person in the kingdom that could give her her crown back, and that's King. Do you think she's gonna pass the knot test? Hope she does, because what's a princess without her crown? 